how has this season changed now that Prometheus is out in the open? Well, I you? think it's become a lot more dynamic. It's been really cool seeing everyone respond to Josh. Um, he was kind of like the DA, and I was like, ah, what's he up to? A lot. And, uh, you know, I, I really liked it. I, I, like, people are, like, a lot of people are talking about him, like, oh, he's, like, the coolest villain that we've All seen right. since, <laughs> since Slade. Um, and, I mean, they haven't even really seen the full blossom of his villainous rose yet, which we really do get to see on uh, this week's episode. And what else can you tease about this next episode that's come out? I don't know how to say the name, but... Uh, a couple shots. Right? A couple shots. Uh, so, I mean, look, toughest episode that I've ever had to film, both physically and emotionally, that didn't involve a major character death. Um, uh, I hurt my back a bunch. I get to... I mean, here's, here's the coolest thing about this episode. And people that are over 20 years old will get this, or fans of Rocky in general. The fact that I get to have an all-out brawl with Dolph Lundgren is not the part of the episode that excites me the most, right? So the fact that that is true, I think speaks, speaks well to this week. Are there any characters or actors you would like to see returning to the series at any point? Yeah, I'd like to see Manu come back. I'd like to see more of Lexa. Uh, I thought that the arc that we did with Katie Cassidy and Black Siren was awesome. And I would love to see more. I would love to see more of that. Um, I'm I'm very partial to Oliver's storyline with his son uh, and uh, with Samantha. So that would be cool. I could go on and on. <laughs> I always want people to come back. Once people, once once someone resonates with viewers, I always want them to come back. There's an episode coming up called "Honor Thy Fathers." Can you tease anything about the fathers that may come into play? Uh, sure. Yeah, it's a, it's it's uh, it's a, it's it's a lot about uh, Justin Claiborne, who is Adrian Chase slash Simon Morris's father, and uh, Robert Queen. And is there an actual Adrian Chase out there somewhere? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. That was a though. trick question, actually. I know, I get it, I get it, because Adrian Chase in the comics is Vigilante. Yes. But his real name is Simon Morrison. There's probably not another Adrian Chase. And can you talk about how Oliver's going to respond to this mess that Felicity's getting herself into with Helix? Yeah, they, they, there's, a, there's, a scene, there's an episode coming up. I think it's episode 19, which I've forgotten the name of it right now, but it really could be called... Team Felicity versus Team Arrow. Um, they're both after the same thing. Spoiler alert, it's Chase. But she's going about it via Helix, and Team Arrow is going about it via not Helix. And and Felicity's running point for her side, and Oliver's running point for his side. And it sets up uh, it, it sets up a very, very interesting dynamic that we really haven't seen from them all year, mm -hmm. um, and it starts to uh, it starts to bring a lot of the stuff that I don't know that people have been waiting for, but a lot of the reasons that they've been very regimented towards one another is starting to come to the surface in that episode. So, do you think Oliver and Felicity will have a better understanding of each other once all is said and done? Uh, I think Oliver and Felicity have a very good understanding of each other right now. I think that the viewers get a better understanding of why they are the way that they are. And can you talk about the addition of Juliana Harkavy as the new Black Canary, Dinah Drake, and I mean, what Dinah she's added to the team? Yeah, I, I, yeah. Well, Juliana has been, has, has been great. It's not any time that you... She's proven thus far that she can carry an episode and that she can also be a tremendous supporting piece to an episode. It's not easy when you come in, I can't remember if she came in in like maybe episode 11, and that's ostensibly her episode. And it reminded me a lot of what Grant Gustin did when he came in as Barry Allen in our eighth episode in the second season where you're a guest but you're really working the most in an episode. I thought she put it herself really well. Um, and I, I, like that they're, I like that they're playing a slow burn with their character. Well, speaking of slow burn, the flashbacks are finally going to be done for the most part this year. Are you kind of excited for to be past that? I'm excited, you know? Like, I'm excited that we got to, we 
got to play the story out. Um, I'm excited for the conclusion. I'm also excited that we're gonna have eight additional minutes per episode to devote to something else. You know what I mean? Uh, and I mean that both from a from a storyline perspective and a, and a getting more sleep perspective. Because I'm just assuming that you know, oftentimes it will be other characters. And are you? Hoping that Oliver is able to stay as mayor of Star City. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm really, really, I'm really, really enjoying that. Um, Oliver's Oliver's mayor has been some of my favorite stuff this year, and uh, you know it gave us an opportunity to it gave us an opportunity to do an episode like Episode 13, um, Spectre of the Gun, which certainly provided the, the highest level of feedback that we've ever had on an episode. Some people loved it, some people hated it, a lot of people appreciated it, um, but you know, I don't know that we can do something like that if we didn't have Oliver in the mayor's office. Do you think Oliver would be able to continue as mayor if he outed himself to the city as the Green Arrow? Probably not. Darn. Have you heard much about the season finale, and is there anything you can tease? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, the season finale, um, we basically have to shoot the entire thing on location. And for my last question, what do you have to say to the fans who are watching this video? <laughs> I know I'm putting you on the spot. Thank you, thank you for thank you for sticking with us. Five seasons in, four Paley fests in, and uh, I think that we have the I think that we have the stuff in place for a nice long run.